Welcome to beautiful Southern California. This is the celebration of the pinnacle of amateur softball prior to college softball. This, of course, is the PGF High School All-American game, East versus West, and a celebration year after year of a culmination of success, of sacrifice. Families come to celebrate as they say goodbye to their daughters, and the daughters look to be wonderful teammates to their travel ball mates one more time. She went through this journey. It was different when she was an Olympian and All-American. Amanda Freed, my name is Darren Sutton. Hello, and welcome back to the ballpark. You and I get the good fortune every year to stand here and talk about these athletes. What gives you most joy sitting in that chair, looking out and watching the future of the sport? I think just knowing the grind that these athletes and their families have been through over, over the last several years to get to this point, and then just watch them unload all the stress and the fears of, of this game and the stress that comes along with it and just put it all out there and play with real joy for what this game has given them and given their families and just the gratitude for them being here. Um, it's been a long, hard-fought week, but this is a celebration. You can let your hair down just a bit, but then you're going to battle out there. They want to beat you in that other dugout. By the way, who are these athletes coming to a campus near you? Let's turn it over to the introductions. Fred Solace is our in-house voice of Premier Girls Fast Pitch. Fred, take it away. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2024 Premier Girls Fast Pitch National Championships. This is the PGF High School Senior All-American game between the visitors, Team West, and the home team, Team East. We begin with the introduction of the visiting team, Team West. Introducing number nine, Samaya Jones. Number 18, Riley Slim. Number 15, Lauren Potts. Number 22, Daly Williams. Number 3, Kanaya Bragg. Number 10, Bailey Lindema. Number five, Carrington Dawson. Number four, Peyton Burnham. Number 12, Lindsey Miller. Number 16, Jaden Ramos. Number 17, Cambria Salmon. Number 19, Peyton Tanner. Number 21, Brianne Weiss. And now the West starting lineup. Leading off, number eight, Kaylin Jones. Number one, Sydney Barker. Number two, Sydney Bulletin. Number 13, Sophia Mujica. Number 20, Taylor Troutman. Number six, Joey Economon. Number 11, Ashley Mejia. Number 14, Malia Perez. And number seven, Addison Fisher. <laughs> Assistant coaches for Team West, Aisa Silva, Caitlin Terry, and the head coach, Sierra Briggs. And now Team East. Introducing number seven, Amaya Doyle. Number eight, Destiny Harris. Number 17, Madison Uptegrove. Number 16, Taylor Pipkins. Number one, Analia 
Adams. Number 10, Mariyama Hubbard. Number 11, Elise Crescio. Number 23, Maggie Daniel. Number 12, Natalie Lieto. Number 9, Jaden Tevener. Number 13, Audrey Lowry. Number 15, Catalin Oxley. Number 24, Aaron Newer. And now the East starting lineup. At center field, number 18, Audrey Vandergrift. At shortstop, number four, Gabby Comilla. At first base, number 21, Layla Lamont. Behind the plate, number 22, Emma Cavanaugh. In left field, number 19, Ramsey Walker. In right field, number three, Zoe Calvez. At third base, number six, Addie DeLong. At second base, number 20, Abigail Wilhelm. In pitching, number 13, Audrey Lowry. Assistant coach, Sophia Knight. Dakota Kennedy. And head coach, Montana Fouts. Our officials, at third base, Bill Plant. At second base, John Hartman. At first base, Art Quinones. And behind the plate, Rob Pentikoff. And ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask you to rise and remove your caps, as we have a very special guest this evening. Senior for the West and committed to Arizona State, here to honor America and sing the national anthem. Let's give it up for Ashley Mojia. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proud Twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we've watched Were so gallant streaming and the rockets rang glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh. Goodness, Ashley Bahia, we are astonished with what you did out there. That is incredible. ASU 
You're not only getting a great softballer, you're getting a wonderful talent. Should you ever want to use her as a singer? That was fun. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Absolutely nailed it. I had goosebumps there at the end when she was hitting <laughs> that high note. Wow, I loved that. Audrey Lowry goes to work in the circle. She will get the call first. And an opportunity for her to take the rock and roll. Audrey. Of course, when you think about her future, Sis, as she is like to be called by her friends and mates out of Pittsburgh, Indiana. Oklahoma awaits her arrival. Tennessee Mojo Fisher, Ramsey Josh Fisher, Ramsey Harkness, where she played her travel ball for so many years. The campus, the staff, that's why she chose Oklahoma. And just a quick word as far as lineups go, everyone that can hit will hit. That's the order. If you get a second at bat, it's a win, and most of the athletes will get a second shot at things. So we'll hit all the way down. If you're on the active roster, you're lining up 18 or 19, so that is the batting order. A wonderful way, instead of swapping in and out to do all-star games like this, everyone will get a chance to play defensively as well somewhere, and there are pitchers ready to go too. So you're going to hear the colleges. You're going to be blown away by the level of competition here. This will simulate really if they're buttoned up and I think they're ready to play because they've been playing with their travel teams all week this is going to simulate a division one game yeah absolutely we were talking about how many of these athletes we could potentially not just see in Oklahoma City next year but being impactful players in their first year all right well, <laughs> they're still buzzing over there about that anthem Kaylin Jones Kaylin Jones Oklahoma meets Oklahoma or Oregon as well. Sydney Barker will have that Oklahoma matchup against this athlete in the circle. She waits on deck, but first it's an athlete headed to the Big Ten in Kaylin Jones at Oregon. Athletics Mercado Smith playing for David Mercado. Swings right through that one, one and two, the count. Jones, a middle infielder, playing second base in this contest. Nicole and Brad, her parents. She shoots that one back to the screen. And one Oklahoma commit on Team West. When you look at Team East, you don't have to look too far to see others. But this is a pretty balanced gathering of athletes. Down on strikes. Beautiful run to that curveball. Down goes Jones. Now Lowry's going to be a tough matchup to these lefties. She's got that hard breaking curveball that runs away. She's so explosive off the mound. These are a couple of teammates. We were talking about that a moment ago as Barker shoots it back to the screen. They will be in Norman in the fall. Sid, the shortstop, will play defensively in four innings. She's from Rockland, California, LTG. Coach Joe Henderson, her travel team. Right back our way and off the screen it goes. The daughter of Brooke and Anthony. Sis of Allie and Nolan. Older sister. Older brother. First generation to go through college as an athlete. First person in, in her entire family. Both sides to attend a four year university, Sydney Barker. Oh, big accomplishment. And I've heard she's going to a pretty good one softball wise. Did she go? Did not go around. You'll find Stanford, you'll find UCLA represented. Pretty close. Yeah. The SEC, the Big Ten, Big 12. Reaches out, pulls that softball. It dies out there in left field, ranging as Ramsey Walker, the left fielder, makes the play on that one. Now batting, third baseman. Number two, Sydney Bullifin. Sydney Bullifin, third baseman. From Parker, Colorado, Stanford is her destination. 
Rock Canyon High School Top Gun 18U National Travel Team, where she played for so long for Bob Turner. Valor and Sean, her parents. Brother Jonathan played baseball at Yale. Bro playing baseball at Yale, Sis playing softball at Stanford. Impressive. That's very impressive. Opens up, it's a high fly ball. Toward the line it goes, drifting under it. That one lands fair. Fair is the call. Hustling on around to third, three bases. The sky is high, the sun's still peeking in and out as it sets, and that might have been part of it. Not an easy play. That hung up for a long time for Zoe Calvez. Now we were just talking about impressive academics, but impressive with the height and the distance of this. Wow. Ooh. Kicked up, actually kicked up white dust. Look at that. Yeah, that is as close as it gets. Good hustle around the bases. Sofia Mujica. Fia from Lakeside, California, Granite Hills High School, Northwest Bullets, UCLA is her commitment. Talks about the Bruin bubble, getting an opportunity to create a sense of family with her teammates at UCLA. Feels fortunate to have the opportunity to be a part of that coaching staff, support staff. Pretty good alumni here. We've been talking about Sophia for quite some time, haven't we? <laughs> we have. And we talk a lot about these coaching staffs. There's a lot of movement around the country. I love it when these coaches, and you're seeing it more frequently, these players coming up through, getting into coaching, and then ending up back at their alma maters. UCLA's staff competed at UCLA, now coaches there, has been there for a really long time. It'll be hard for them to shake the pack. I know they're moving on, but when you played there and you're part of that organization, shaking the pack's gonna be tough to do. Bouncing ball out toward third, slips on by in the left field. Addie DeLong unable to make the play. The West squad strikes first. They lead it one to nothing. And good things tend to happen when you hit the ball hard on the ground. This one just turned on, hit well, but it rides low underneath the glove. And that plates the West first run. So Taylor Troutman gets the call now. Run a runner out there, get a different look. Riley slipped, they'll go on down a bit. Let Riley run out there. Figuring if she comes on around to score at some point, we'll need her to hit. Or is that Jaden Ramos? I think that's Ramos. 16, not 18 running. Taylor takes high. Taylor from Henderson, Kentucky, Mississippi State commit. Played the Futures game her sophomore year, called it one of the best memories that she had had. She was over the moon, she said, playing in the Futures game. The words of Taylor Troutman. Shannon and Danielle, her parents. Dad played college baseball at Oakland City. Mom ran cross country at Oakland City. This is an athlete that's hung around rankings wise, kind of around the top 20 for the last couple of years. Now she's gotten up there and has managed to stay up there. Ah, good pitch. Curveball dies over the outside corner. The West squad strikes first. Aggressively hacking at that baseball. Sydney, keep running, you never know where it might land. Just getting going.
Beautiful Southern California, the sun setting over the Pacific very soon here in Irvine, California, Bill Barber Park. Glad to have you back with us. It's time to watch Addison Fisher work. She's from Bend, Oregon. Just graduated Bend Senior High School. Top player in the country. And a UCLA commit as she goes to work. Screwball misses outside. What makes her special from what you know about her? Well, she just does a really nice job of keeping the ball down in the zone. And she's consistent. She's predictable with her pitches. She's got great velocity and nice off speed. Looking for a place to call home. UCLA is where it worked best. As she hits the inside corner, two and one. Coaching staff, she spoke about it. She said, I'm also super excited to get out of some of the snow and ice I deal with on occasion in Oregon. Now you're just pumping up California too much. It's not that snowy and icy in Bend, is it? I Rain, I'm with you on the rain. Audrey Vandegrift, the Alabama commit. From Bogart, Georgia. First out, a strikeout. What makes this event special? Let's have Addie tell us. Addison Fisher, All-American Weekend, take one. To me, the PGF All-American game means that I get to represent the West Coast and the United States as a whole. Just being one of the best of the best in the country playing at PGF is so awesome. And I've been watching this game on TV since I was 10. So it is so cool that I get to be one of those girls now. Um, and hopefully there are a lot of 10-year-olds out there watching that, um, that are the next big stars of the PGF All-American game. Thoughtful words, you and I had a chance to have her on a PGS podcast over the winter. And to say she is charming is an understatement. I'm sure Gabby Comia doesn't find her charming at all. The Florida commit, a very talented athlete, just outmatched that time, but carries herself with a lot of class, does Gabby. So she'll head back. And class is, I think, a good word to use to describe this pitcher as well. Both of them. Good human beings as that one sails high. Layla Lamar, this is another one, understandably so. She and her sister that we've been speaking about for quite some time. Layla headed to be a Florida Gator. <laughs> Lady Dukes Lamar, where she played for dad for so many years. James had fought quite a battle for his life last year. Mercy Young mom. Progressive, successful head coach at Duke. And then there's the skill sets of this athlete, who, by the way, graduated high school summa cum laude. Two and two the count. I'm telling you, the bars these athletes have set for themselves, the standards, volunteering time. I don't know when they have time to volunteer, but they do. Killing it in the classroom and then play like this. How many hours in a day really do you have? But when you talk to these athletes, they are so above their level just with their time management, their commitment to academics, their commitment to this game, to their community. And it's nice that they're recognized and it's seen by these college coaches that invite them to come play for their programs. That's how you flex when you're the number one player in the country, Addison Fisher. A change up for the final pitch to sit down Layla Lamar. She just struck out the side. That, the final straw. Time to get back to work, says Audrey Lowry. Joey got some support, Joey Economides. West Covina South Hills High School plays for coach Rob Weil. We like Rob Weil. Been able to see him all throughout the weekend. And by the way, Joey is a Stanford commit. Joey, high fly ball, deep left field, gone! Enjoy an All-American game. Take a ride on that one. I mean, the first couple pitches are the best pitches you're going to see. And Economides just absolutely sits and crushes that ball. 
Look at how level her hands stay. So much power in that swing. Coach Alistair has got to be loving what she's seeing. <laughs> that was a shot. There are times when you wonder and you follow and you hope it may sail out as the count is one on one on the beautiful anthem singer Ashley Mejia out of Corona California in an Arizona State commit. And then there are other times that when a ball leaves the bat you know it. And that's what happened that time. She shrunk this ballpark. Well that was the first one we've seen and we've seen some good ball games 16 and 18 you the premier level. The future's all American game but that ball the only one to leave the ballpark. So Ashley Santiago High School BSC Bengals Ken Briggs her coach for a long time not sure who her musical coach and teacher is but they're a winner as well. She pops that one up. That one will settle in and give her another chance. Paul and Johnette, her parents, Alyssa, Jaden, and Jelani, her siblings. Both their parents played tons of sports when they were young. Mom softball and basketball. Mom's actually in the Hall of Fame for basketball at Norco High School. Gotta get it on social. That means you were pretty darn good if you're a Hall of Famer. Ended up playing college basketball for a bit as well. Pretty swing, isn't it? Yeah, that's nice. And it's tough. We mentioned earlier facing the left handed throwing Lowry when you're in that left handed batter's box. Toes are up on that line comfortably. But you got to be able to cover that outside part of the plate and then some. That's the outside corner. That's strike three. Similar pitch that she threw to Taylor Troutman to end the last inning. She knows there's a little bit of space out on the edge and she will goes and lives there. Now that's just a tough pitch to defend. It doesn't get any prettier than that. Nips the very first or the front part of the plate. Malia Perez. Malia Perez from San Ramon, California. Place for our good buddy Bruce Richardson with the SoCal Athletics and is headed to Stanford. One and one the count. Kind of like talking softball with Bruce. I'll admit it, along with Dan Hay, the boss of this great company, and you, he's taught me a lot too. He used to let me sit on the bucket in the athletics dugout as that one is struck towards center field. Play is made out there, put away by Audrey Vandegrift. And then I just listened a lot. Now batting. Yeah, All right, now Addison will you. swing it. I interrupted you. No, I'm, I'm excited to watch Addison swing it the way that she's been pitching. It's going to show off her two-way capabilities. Mom is Heather. Dad is David. Dad was an incredible track star. Oregon State champion pole vaulter, triple jumper. 0-2 oh the count. On the U18 US Women's National Team. She'll be competing in Dallas, Texas in a world competition. They wear a different kind of red, white, and blue. The National Softball Player of the Year, the Gatorade National Player of the Year. Of course, Oregon's winner as well. 5A Pitcher of the Year. She shoots that one foul. She was kind enough because I asked her to to list all of her accomplishments. And I think I need a new hard drive. <laughs> Just scrolling through. She's about as decorated as you could be. And by the way, a 4.12 GPA was her graduating number. Two and two the count. Graduating with honors. National Honor Society. She actually says this part of her game has improved the most this year. Hitting. Oh, I love that. I love that she's still working on this part of the game. Pulls her hands in. Good pitch to tie her up. 
Really good pitch, but it got a piece of the foot, so a foul ball. Yeah, at a time, especially when you're at the level that Addie Fisher is, sometimes you drop hitting, you stick specifically to pitching. I love that she still gets in there and works on improving her swing. All right, she says, let's see if I can match a pitch like that. She'll go back out to work in the circle. But a heck of a bounce back. That was a great pitch from Audrey Lowry. It's one of the better two-way players in the country. But oh, that swing of the bat. Joey, 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 why do you thrill us so much? We've been waiting for days for this. And now you provide it. Nothing matches a golden sunset in Southern California as it sets over the Pacific and over this ballpark as well. There is no better venue for this event. There hasn't been for years. Emma Cavanaugh will get her chance to face the dangerous Addison Fisher as she spins it over the inside corner. Strike one to Cavanaugh. Barrington Hills, Illinois. She's going west, though, to the University of Arizona. Just wrapped up a wonderful career at Barrington High School, playing for the Illinois Chili Gold travel team. Wanted a program with a rich history. She, she found one. That one sails high. Tom and Lisa, her parents. She's the middle child in a home with five. Driven toward right field. Let it travel as long as she could. That's a tough elevated pitch away to drive though. But the first non strikeout put in the books that's an out. Rambo Ramsey Walker she's from Shreveport Louisiana. She's heading over to play for Arkansas. One and oh the count to Rambo. Four state championships in high school think about that. The Calvary Baptist Academy every single year you won it all. It's it hard but foul third base line. So now that's that's the standard right you're playing in this game now so when you go off to college nothing but a championship. Go jump in that pool in the SEC and enjoy it's a battle it's you're a piranha but you're swimming with piranha simultaneously. There is no conference that matches it top to bottom and she's going to get a chance to take those pearls and go play in that conference. Tennessee knows what that's like, Coach Weekly. This is a four-time, four, four-time, four not only a champion, but all-state team member as well. May I may I just up it, the, the resume? Please. All that I said, state title every year, all-state every year, valedictorian. Jeez. Kind of feel like a slouch, don't you? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Ramsey Walker. Lined right to the second baseman. Two really good approaches. Instead of being jumpy, let that power come to you. Kalen Jones was in the perfect spot to make the play. Now this is high level hitting here. Great approaches. When you have somebody like Addie Fisher who throws the ball hard down in the zone, got that late break, you have to let it travel. Just let your barrel meet the ball. And don't force it, otherwise you're going to be swinging over the top of the spins. Winter Gardens in Florida, that's where Zoe Calvis calls home. She's from West Orange High School, a Hot Shots competitor for Nathan Nelson. LSU awaits her visit. And then she'll settle in. Play there for four years, she hopes that's the right fit for the long term. Played in Taiwan, by the way, in 2020. Wonderful experience to play internationally. Nice rock and fire from that second base position. She knew she had to hurry. Zoe was rolling. All right, Addison Fish, you're just showing off now. A couple of perfect innings, six up, six down. Beautiful California evening. And earlier today, when the sun was high in the sky, this athlete for the Birmingham Thunderbolts was incredible playing for Coach Rocky. She won a national title, the 18U premiere. This is the work the Florida commit did. She looks good in both the uniforms. They call her red. 
And she had the opponent seeing red. Yeah, she was so much fun to watch, just completely in command of that ball game. And she had to throw a number of innings throughout this week, but this, such a dominating performance. It was fun to watch. She was lifted in the seventh to an ovation. Team came away with that win. It was so well deserved. This is the worksheet. Look at those 10 strikeouts in a title game. When you're playing one of the best teams in the country, you fan 10. She's dealing with Samaya Jones. She's probably got a little pep in her step after what she pulled off, though a lot of challenges. Jones, one of them, an LSU commit from Perlin, Texas. As that rise ball sails high. Samaya, the daughter of Valerie and Steve, two older brothers, Shamar and Steve. That one floats in there, a changeup that just missed. Yeah, she's working quick out there in the circle, spinning that ball up. There's after the changeup, the rise ball. That's strike three. Jones goes down. The rise ball starting at the belt, going up to the helmet. Riley Slim. Georgetown, Texas. Played for Caitlin Klain, Texas Blaze travel team. She's going to Westwood to play for UCLA. Strike one over the outside corner. I'm not quite sure how that was caught, <laughs> if I may be honest with you. Somehow Emma Cavanaugh at the last moment left up and caught that one. I already had that one off the screen in my mind. The 1-1. One, one. I think Red's kind of fired up. Yeah, I think so too. Bear? She's okay. hopping around out there. <laughs> A couple of screw balls, both missed up and away. What a great shot of this beautiful venue. Love our live drone we're able to provide as part of the pictures here. Our production team is just unmatched. 3-1 changeup. Low putts from Phoenix, Arizona. Putts just graduated from Xavier College Prep, which is a great school right there in Central Phoenix. She is headed to the University of Michigan. That's where her mom played softball. That's where her dad played baseball. Runner on the move, throw down. Nearly got her on the tag. That's a stolen base for Riley. And a nice slide to the back part of the base. High fly ball. Lauren gives it a ride in center field. The play is made out there. Drifting under it is Audrey Vandegriff. Lauren is retired. Her dad, JJ, was a great closer for a long time in the major leagues. Still works for the Diamondbacks organization, his final team. And I ran into JJ as Lauren heads back to the dugout. He said he's settled in. They rented a place out here. You see younger sis Addison just getting started. 12 UPGF. Yeah, they spent the whole a lot, next week. They spent a lot of Two weeks out here. here. And I played ball with mom, Kelsey, who went to Michigan. Yeah. And All American out there. And so it's always fun to reconnect with old teammates. And to see now their daughters following in their footsteps or creating their own path. It's awesome. JJ, one of my favorite to cover in my years, decade and a half as a major league announcer. He was one of the best as far as class and how he carried himself. Back to the screen it goes. Daley Williams. The Hawaiian and the Georgian soon. She's committed to go to the University of Georgia. Played for Tony Campos of the Northwest Bullets from Kamehameha Schools, Kapalama Campus. That is strike three. Cleans things up. There's some energy. Red bringing it out there. She got put. She got Williams stranding a base runner. Two to nothing. Two to nothing the score. The West team on top. 
Now looking to defend that turf and handing the softball to Cambria Salmon. Key leader at her school and on her softball team, the team captain this year at Beaumont High School in California. Playing for that Athletics Mercado team. We saw her in the championship game as well. Going to Texas. There's some fire in that arm as she zips that one home to Addie DeLong, the third baseman. And the Florida State commit. Addie from Mechanicsburg, Ohio. Screwball, firm, outside corner. Scott and Abby, the parents of DeLong, as she tries to dig out of an 0-2 hole. Parents both played college diamond sports. Swing and a miss. One and two, the count. Boy, DeLong really did it in the classroom. National Honor Society, class vice president, 4.0 GPA. Two and two, the count. Ten years, Addie, what will you be doing, she says. I'll be running a dermatology office and also giving back to the softball community and starting a family of my own. For tonight, she's trying to hold up on a changeup, and she does so. Ooh. Those are big plans, though. I like that. I, I love the plans, and I love the approach at the plate, long at bat. Because Salmon is just, she's firing. She looks pumped up. She's yes. throwing hard. So to lay off that changeup is a really good take. She's worked the count full. 3-2 lifts that one. Left field line, long run. How about that speed? Dawson took off. And Carrington with a fine play. Yeah, nice read on this. Had to run a long way, but with that speed, was able to easily track that down right there on the foul line. Abigail Wilhelm. From Kansas City, Top Gun, Bob Turner. Her travel team, she just said goodbye to them because she's going to Mizzou. And she's in the hole 0-1. Leave sibling Aiden behind at home with their parents, Brent and Carrie. Both college athletes, softball, baseball, mom and dad. Right back off the screen. You okay? That'll hold it, we promise. It's just loud when it hits that screen. No balls and two strikes to count. That is really fun. I, I like that, and I just keep thinking, wow, Coach White at Texas, head coach, is going to have a heyday when Cambria gets on campus. He's such a good developer of pitchers. And she's already so talented and has so many tools. In a situation like this, when unless they need you later, you know you have one inning. Why not empty the tank? And why not go after that? Taking velocity, shooting it the other way. Tip of the cap there to the Mizzou commit. Wilhelm picks up a base hit. Yeah, definitely. Cam is providing all the power from the circle. So really, you just have to sit back and let your barrel meet the ball. A great approach at the plate. By the way, I asked Wilhelm that same, what are we doing in 10 years thing? And she said, I'll be in Arizona. I'll be married with kids, owning my own med spa. By the way, wrapping up my cosmetic degree. That's what she'll be doing. For now, she's standing at first. Yeah. Amaya Doyle from Carterville, Illinois. You like that, don't you? I mean, that's <laughs> giddy up. That little upward tilt to it as well. I, I lost the ball for a second in the swing. I thought, did she connect on it? That's the kind of sound 
But that was the glove absolutely popping, especially that inside corner, that screwball. Amaya rolls that one foul. For you. We heard from Amaya. You heard her thoughts on an interview you and I did at the opening banquet. What a what a classy, classy young woman. Terika and Ron, her parents, her faith, very important to her. Tennessee, you are getting a leader in this one, someone you can build your program around as far as her character. Oh, my, what a change up. That's unfair. That hard, that firm, and then that change up. And, but that hard and that inside, and then that change up, you are so uncomfortable with that screwball, just trying to fight it away. And then in the back of your mind, you think, gosh, she's got that off speed pitch. And still, you have to be ready to hit the speed inside and, and still try to sit back and, and take that change up. That's unfair. Virginia native Destiny Harris is headed to LSU. That one rides high up above the strike zone. Granby High School plays for a really good program, Virginia Unity. There's a Unity team out of Florida playing in a championship game here, day one. Cindy and Emilio, her parents, just got a piece, the tiniest of pieces. Planning on studying kinesiology in college. Hopes of being a diagnostic medical stenographer. Sonographer, I should say. So she stabs through that one. I like the idea, showing a little versatility at the plate. And a huge fan, so many of us are, of Aaliyah Andrews. She was curious. Thought she might have grabbed a corner, maybe up. The 2-2. Two -two. Inside corner strike three. Now you got one inning. May as well empty the tank. And Cam Sam, you did just that. This year, this event dedicated to Taylor Dawkins, former PGF All-American, a fixture in this community, played at Cal State Fullerton. Garrett Hayes, Senior Vice President of PGF, joins us. And, and obviously, devastating for the family, but she left such a legacy after losing that battle to liver cancer. This sport is better for her, and, and I think for you and, and for PGF, you guys want to make it clear, we never want to make sure we forget her. No, we don't. I was talking to the PGA family about Taylor, and I guess we just thought she was going to fight forever. Yeah. And we got really close with her when she was an All-American and, and a senior in high school, and then a little bit later on when she was at Cal State Fullerton. And there was never a doubt in our minds that she was going to going to beat uh, this disease. And maybe ultimately she uh, did beat it by you know moving on and. Her faith is so strong, but again, we thought she was going to fight forever, so it's been pretty tough. Yeah, when you listen to those that recall her and listen to her words, she made it clear that her faith was everything, that her Christian faith was going to guide her, but then she left that legacy behind, and it's with that in mind that you wanted to do something special. You and I put our heads together, and with PGF, each year starting next year, there's going to be a fine 18 new athlete that touches her community that overcomes adversity, that goes through something that she leaves behind a legacy. We're going to have the first ever and then many after Taylor Dawkins Award. Yeah, this was something that, you know, Darren and I, we put our uh, heads together and thought, look, how can we honor an athlete on and off the field? 
and at this 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 pinnacle, this 18U uh, division and this All-American game as well, and just finding a way to honor her forever by looking at what you, what, what you do, whether it's philanthropically or how you act as an athlete or a leader on the field, and then channeling that in her memory in order to uh, have her memory last forever. So it's been, been pretty great. Well, I know one thing she would want to do. She'd want to win, and uh, she would want to be on a championship team. And because of that, it's an easy transition because of the way she played. So you now have your first, and it's a work of art, bucket winner. Now you designed your artwork. First of all, we didn't have as much time to talk about it, but what, what's the material? It's very heavy. Is it bronze? What's it made out of? It is bronze. And it's truly a work of art. You commissioned an artist to build this, yes? I did. I have no problem giving a shout out to Matt Glenn out of Utah. He's an amazing artist. He's done so many great pieces. Um, in the, even all the way into the, the Fiji over in the islands and then all over the United States, he has amazing uh, pieces of art. So it's pretty cool. So the thought is then this is something that is long lasting. The Bolts, they won at the 18U. This will go to their facility for one year, a la some special Stanley Cup. And look at, look at the work that went into this. This is a great idea. How has this been received? It's been, the reception has been amazing. Uh, after revealing it at our, at our annual coaches dinners and then kind of putting some teasers out there on social media and on our website and then finally actually being able to hand the trophy over and see that it's going to go back to Alabama. <laughs> it was an amazing feeling and it's awesome because Thunderbolts were on there as winning in, in 2022 and even uh, Athletics Mercado that played in that game were also on there but to, to actually have them put it on there again and be able to send it over to, to Alabama for a year, I couldn't be more happy about it. Can I brag UCLA commit led it off and then Bailey Lindemuth right behind Carrington Dawson going to Baylor lines it out to center field. Thank you for your time my friend. Thanks for having Appreciate us back it, every single Thanks. year. Thank you. Wonderful wonderful event and of course honored to always honor the memory of Taylor. Love having Garrett Hay stop by so creative such a leader and obviously Dan Hay one of the key founders of Premier Girls Fast Pitch but this business in good hands is family. It's a family affair, certainly. It is, and I love how it evolves every year. It gets better, bigger, better, reaches out more. Brianne Weiss, Placentia, California, went to Olu, they call it out here. That's Orange Lutheran. She is a Notre Dame commit. The Southpaw fires that one home. Loving Notre Dame's culture, in awe with the history and traditions. Family been Notre Dame fans for a long, long time. All the right things to fit her as an athlete. Outside 2 0 the count. Madison up to Grove. Mizzou. That's where Madison is headed. She's from Columbia, Missouri. Stacy and Larry, her parents. That's ball four. So am I allowed to, in the world of family tree athletics, to think her dad may have the coolest of jobs, one that I could never do, ever. But dad rode bulls for 10 years in the PBR events. That's Madison up to Grove's dad. That's cool. Larry, no run for her out there. Zoe Calvez will get a chance to run. Oh, and fired to the backstop. Not a zip on it. Zoe takes off, moves to second. Yeah, why is his pitches right now? Although a little out of the zone, have a lot of break on it. You could see the movement from up here. She's got an electric arm. Just looking to dial it in here. Weiss, daughter of Fritzi and Kent. This is Isis. And then younger siblings, Kent and Daniel, as that one pops free. Runner moves to third. Hey, everything jumping. You're exactly right. All right. I'm gonna get comfortable. Let's talk this through because everything you throw is tough, says Daly Williams. 
And we talked about being in this type of a game and you haven't worked as a battery before. You're trying to figure out the different breaks, movement, pitches that each pitcher throws. And you're trying to do it within an inning of work. I mean this in the positive of spirits, okay? So this isn't something negative. But it's fun watching catchers call the game. It is fun. Not peeking yep. into either dugout. Positive? I'm all positive here, folks. Don't be offended, travel coaches. That one sails high, three and two the count. Well, because it requires a lot of communication as well. I'm, I'm guessing these two were talking in the dugout. There was a quick conversation to make sure you're on the same page. Taylor Pipkins aggressively attacks on 3-2. Tay going to Clemson. North of Atlanta, that's where coming Georgia is, north of Forsyth High School. Impact Camel Premier playing for Mateo Camel. She said, I've grown up watching these games on ESPN and YouTube. Couldn't imagine that I would be in one of these games ever a few years later. Oh, you're here. And you're on. So a couple of walks in this inning. Tries to corral her stuff right now. Anna Lee Adams. Anna Lee from Liberty, Indiana. Beverly Bandits. Rex Mack and Seth Holloway, her coaches. Now she's headed off to Auburn. Do nothing to score. Now at the East, starting to get base runners on. Weiss dialed in on those first two pitches. That's that one hard oohs and ahs from the crowd that time. But it's foul. And if you're Weiss, we've all given those up before. That's a strike. As a matter of fact, you think that's strike two. You have to remind yourself, I did that on purpose. I didn't want to throw it down the middle. I didn't want to necessarily swing and, well, I want to swing and miss. But if she hits it foul, even if it's hard, it was in a good place. That is exactly right. Drawing the throw, popping the tag down. Got her! That's all about the tag. A beautiful throw by Daly Williams. How about Kania Bragg and the athleticism coming across, popping that tag down. Yeah, I love the focus here because you want to keep your eye on the runner at third as well. But for a split second, Bragg watches the tag and then turns and quickly picks up the runner at third. That's a fair ball. That's an out. Maybe a couple of outs. Oh, and it's a run. It broke down. That would have been the hardest of double plays, but instead, Streaking home for a run. Zoe Calvez has been looking to get back in. Oh man, this ball. Straight up, Adams doesn't realize it's in fair territory. She's tagged. And as soon as the pump fake happens, oh, you can see the chaos created. <laughs> really nice slide by Calvez. Monty Hubbard from Huntsville, Alabama. A national champion on that Birmingham Thunderbolts team earlier today. For Coach Rocky Thompson. Ladies and gentlemen, I remind you that right now we have PGF All-American Apparel available. So please visit Alabama Crimson Tide awaiting her arrival at campus. That one lifted foul and out of play. Lottie was saying that prior to this selection, she had seen the high school All-American game as one of the last travel ball honors a fast pitch softball player can achieve. She said, I grew up in the Bolts organization. I saw a lot of athletes that came before get this invite. I was blown away when I was able to join. That's a, that's a special day for Hubbard. 
Yeah, we're starting to see that a lot with this game. It's being seen at the younger ages and they're aspiring to be a part of it. One ball, two strikes to count. Just like with that trophy. We see all these young athletes looking on and thinking, wow, that, that's a pretty amazing accomplishment, something I want to take home, something I'm going to aspire to and set goals to accomplish. And we have one dad up to Grove, a bull rider. And we have Monty's dad for a dozen years, a wrestler. The 2 2. Good take. That one dives down and away. Up at All State, all four years in Alabama. Beat her up. Nice job communicating as they looked at one another. They got that one right. Bailey Lindemuth makes the play. There was a little crack in the door, and Zoe Calvez dove in for a run. Destiny Harris off to LSU, but first things first, PGF, and it means a lot. I, it means a lot to me, definitely, because back in 14U, you know, before you get recruited and all that, that's like your big time year. I ended up, we ended up winning the championship game, and then after that, that's when I feel like I peaked in my career, and it, PGF in general has helped me all, along with All-American and just the tournament itself. I would definitely say it helped me in my recruiting process and helped me go to my dream school. <laughs> I'm super fast. Um, I can bunt, I can hit, I can get a base hit, I can steal all the bases. Um, but I would say I'm more of like a on-base hitter. Like, I definitely use my speed to my advantage when it comes to if it comes to bunting if it comes to hitting the ball in the gap i definitely think my speed is definitely um a big part of my game for sure. do it d we've loved watching you play for all these years and a pgf championship under your belt as you talked about at the 14 u age group she's looking in as peyton burnham she will see her in the sec you see peyton's an arkansas commit from eugene oregon Arkansas with the ability to go to Eugene, Oregon and bring a player to play on campus. I love it. We're seeing it. We're going to see it more. Our sport is nationwide. Good softball being played everywhere. Jake and Kendall, her parents, as that one is lifted back of the second base bag, just onto the outfield grass. The shortstop Madison up to Grove, trickled under that one and made the play for the out. Amanda Freed, Darren Sutton, glad to have you with us. Inside the leader of this great production, John Walsh. It's always a pleasure to be here every single year. Here's Lindsey Miller. Hey, by the way, let it be known that Caitlin's still out there grinding inning three. She was slated for a couple, but after the day she had, she may not leave the circle. The national championship bouncing around. By the way, there was that flex too to her fans. I kind of like that. Yeah, she has a lot of emotion out there in this circle. <laughs> Very vocal and a lot of energy. She's just out there bouncing around, a lot of good pace. She gets on that mound and she wants to get rid of that ball quickly. That changeup just missed inside to. Lindsey Miller, Morgan Hill, California, LTG, her travel team. The Kentucky Wildcats await her arrival on campus, and it's coming soon. Why? Well, the coaching staff. She said the coaches have been together a long time, done nothing but make UK feel like home. Winning mentality. It's the SEC as well. That one's back up over our heads. Jason and Lori, her parents. 12 U USA All American, Lindsey Miller. She patiently watches that one skip in there. And along with softball, and she was good, obviously, throughout her high school years. It was also very successful 
field hockey. It's a nice long at bat. Miller's seen just about everything. She's laid off the changeup. Turned hard on the inside. Had her leak out front on a changeup. Hurrying that throw, and it's a good one. Madison up to Grove. And a play on a pop-up. Ended up off balance, but oh, this is a real accurate throw, though. Yeah, this is a really nice play. She continues to run through towards home. Throws across her body. That's a difficult play. Throws it across with some good strength. Fresno, California zone, Jaden Ramos. Over the inside corner for strike one. about that play like somewhat difficult to throw on the run and she actually kind of lost grip on the softball that's I think you said it best she just kept moving because of that yeah she kept moving but she made that look so easy her, but it's not her momentum coming towards the plate she threw across her body that's something you practice over and over again but to be able to execute it in a, in a game at the game speed I think that's really impressive Arkansas, Jaden Ramos, she's headed that way. Philip and Mandy, her parents, conference player of the year, the fourth PGF All American. Accolades are many. And who does she love to watch play? It's no one older than her, this great hitter, it's her younger sister. Sees her reflection. That's strike three. That's some power. Red, one more inning. You graced us with your presence. And that smile, I'm done, she says. Wait, we thought you would never leave the circle. That rise ball is no fun. It's the PGF All-American game. Peyton Tanner steps into the circle. More hitters to introduce you to. Oregon committee to Lise Cresho is her first foe, and she didn't wait around as Tanner fires a strike. Sticking with it right up against that backstop, Lindsey Miller. So, Peyton, introduce yourself as a pitcher. We're excited to watch you work. Peyton Tanner, All-American. <laughs> so, my best pitch is my screwball, which I hold a two-seam like this. And then my next pitch is my curveball, which I just make a C on the horseshoe like this. And then I actually throw a knuckleball for my changeup. So I get in the seams with my nails and hold it like this. I keep my nails long, and a lot of people ask how I can do it, but they're actually my natural nails, so it's not like really like a or anything. I'm kind of excited for everything because this is the end of travel ball for me. This is the last tournament. So I think it, we want to end with a bang because we're the hot shots, and I'm excited to play in the championship, hopefully. and. I'm really excited to play in the All-American game. I think that's what I've been looking forward to the most. Good stuff hiding behind that beautiful Rawlings glove. She deals with her first foe. She gets Cresho to pop out. Then Maggie Daniel, UCLA commit, goes down on strikes. Natalie Lieto is headed to Penn State. Knuckleball, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually impressed with that. And the fact that she can keep her nails long, those nails were on point, but she can dig those into the seam and throw that knuckleball. I think a lot of pitchers shy away from that pitch because we're such a culture of picking pitches now. You've got the Mike Whites and some very talented coaches who just specialize in picking anything out of your motion and your grip to give their team an advantage. So any knuckles on the ball could be a tip to the hitter. But hey, if you can hide it and throw that pitch effectively, stick with it. One and two the count. Oh boy, that's no fun that pitch in. How did she turn that one around? Natalie Lieto out of Monroe, Connecticut, Penn State commit. 
Just graduated from Masuk High School. Watch this. I was just thinking the same thing. I thought this ball was going to hit her <laughs> the way that it came out of the hand. <laughs> just slips the hands inside, gets as much of the barrel to the ball as possible, turns the hips, and drives it into left. So I think we're going to see Jaden Hevener pitch here in a bit. But for now, she swings the bat. Jay from Pace High School up there in the panhandle of Florida. Impact Camel, her travel team, and an LSU commit. Denise and Shane, her family, her mom and dad. Two balls and one strike to count. The brand new, freshly minted, Florida Gatorade Player of the Year. That's something. That state, that big, that's an award. Yeah, a lot of talent coming out of Florida. Florida Miss softball. Two and two the count. Battled through injuries throughout the year. Yeah, surgery on her elbow last year. Wanted to grow her mental health when that happened. Felt like she grew her mind while her body healed. Pitch down and away. Screwball tough to deal with. Jaden goes down on strikes. Two to one the score. Things staying tight late in this one. EGF, All-American game. Go get that screwball tough. Buffalo, New York, all the way out here to gorgeous California. When it's college time, she'll go to Tennessee. That's Aaron Neuer in the circle. Bones, her mates call her. Impact Camel, her travel team, just graduated from Barron Academy. And Aaron goes to work, fires that one home. She'll pitch the next couple of innings if things go well. One PGF at the 60 U age group was a champion a couple of years back for that impact team. We remember. Jody and Aaron, her parents. Good 0 2 pitch. Galen Jones, second opportunity for the Oregon commit. Struck out first time up, goes down, down and away. Good screwball. Yeah, I like that sequence of pitches and the way that that last pitch one, tailed Sydney away Parker. and a little down at the end. How does a ball, one would wonder, get to the front row like that? When it shoots back, it got the overhang up over our head, the, the brand new beautiful addition here. It was fun to see everyone turn around, very familiar noise. They knew they shouldn't be hearing anything. Yeah. <laughs> Sydney Barker's second chance. She fly deep to left field back in the first inning as that one skips in there. If Sydney finds something she likes, she's an aggressive swinger. That one just a little bit low. So I give Erin a chance as she works in the circle to lead the mythical governing body of all softball. What would you do if I give you that chance? She says simply, I'd change the size of the softball about a centimeter because they have tiny hands and sometimes have a hard time gripping pitches. It's very difficult, she says. I love that honest answer. I wish I could grant you that wish for just one moment. You can change every softball one centimeter smaller. Yeah, and that's not a big change. I mean, that could make a little bit of sense. I'm kind of down with that. Says the legendary pitcher sitting to my right. For the last eight months, I have been throwing around the 10 U ball. So okay. that's <laughs> now when I like, hold hey, this I like 12 this. inch, it feels like a bowling ball. Wait a minute, I kind of like this. Don't call it a comeback. 
says free. 0-2 the count. I'm told there is tonight if you want to take part sometime after 2 a.m. an alumni game if you'd like to come out. I'm down. Okay. Runner on the move, throw down, and a stolen bag. Sid Barker on the move. RBI chance for Sydney Bullapolin. Sydney had a triple, a high fly triple that hugged the line and just past the outstretched glove out there. Zoe Calvez, who, by the way, would later score a run in this game. So Zoe's played a starring role. That strike out a big one with the runner in scoring position. Two outs. Now batter, number 13, Sophia Mujica. Fia Mujica. First time up, drove it a run. Westwood, she's coming for you. UCLA, get ready. Playing in those world games in September as well. I love all the international opportunities for these athletes, whether it's to represent our country or an ancestry. Got a piece right in the middle of Newer, but right behind her is a solid defense. Addison Uptegrove scampered right over and turned that one into an out. I'd smile too with a defense behind me like that. We saw Peyton Burnham hit last inning, and now the Oregonian out of Eugene gets a chance to go to work in the circle, and she deals with a fellow pitcher, but Caitlin Oxley, who's been a big part of all things softball today will swing the bat as well. Caitlin, the floor to commit. Three innings on the mound in this game, six innings in the national title game. Yeah, she's feeling good today, that's for sure. Burnham works her in a couple of times, 2 and 0 the count. Kendall and Jake, her parents. Dad played baseball at Tulane, and Dad was a pro too. Swing and a miss, 2 and 1 the count. That was a nasty pitch after those two screwballs hard inside. Took a little off, bent it down. Her ball rides up and away. Three balls and one strike to count on Caitlin Oxley. Three and two. She's found the keyhole to work through if she can hit that spot again. Ah, oh, that was a beautiful pitch. Great location. Wasn't getting that screwball called. Yeah, she went right back out there. Contact this time. Sweeping on a cross, though, and making an easy play. Bailey Lindemuth, the third baseman. And now batter, number 24, pitcher Aaron Neuer. And here's Aaron Neuer. Over the outside corner. Love when pitchers get a chance, let them know. I, I don't know how much to let me hit in the future. I'm hitting in this game. I know, I love that. It's easy to say, nah, it's fine. I'll, I'll just pitch and, and not swing the bat. But hey, this is a fun game. It's do what you want. We talked about that. Have fun. Celebrate your career. That one right back to the screen. Two to one the score. The home team down a run. Changed up on her. 
right under the aggressive swing of Aaron. A couple of pitchers hit in this inning and a couple of outs to start it. Yeah, this pitch is a good one where she locates it. You can see the spin over the top. It's a little off speed, but it's got a ton of break. Stays down at the knees. Now batting, center fielder, number 18, Audrey Vandegrift. Audrey Vandegrift. Second opportunity to hit. Big college football fan out there, you say you are. You heard of Brock Vandegriff, quarterback, Kentucky. That's big bro. It's quite an assignment to be a, one of the key quarterbacks in the Southeastern Conference. And by the way, sis Anna, she plays volleyball and as, a, as an OH at Eastern Kentucky. Audrey is going to Alabama. I love how each chose their own sport, chose their own path. What do you think here? So here's what we know about this speed. Vandegrift heads to first. They're down a run. She's a state champ in track, state champion for the 100 and 200 in the state of Georgia. She can run. Now, stealing base is an art. We know that. But you've got elite speed, and they need a run. Yeah, ooh, that's a tough one. You take your chances and put her in scoring position. But you've got Comia, Lamar, Kavanaugh coming up. Well, you could just keep saying names, by the way. I, I was, I was I'm going down, <laughs> know, and then as the list to, goes on. Are you going to say all 18? It's an All-American game. What am I saying? <laughs> just something to think about because you have elite speed. I mean, if you're looking at an, an athletic state like Georgia and you're winning the state championship in the 100 meters and the 200, you can really fly. So I say we, we let her go, and then if she gets out, just put her back on first so we can start the situation over. I just, I want to see her run. Oh. There she goes. You want it? You got it. The throw goes into center field. She's going to push the envelope. Cut off. All the way to third. The state track champ goes. I like that. It's a good call. It's a gutsy call. You don't want to take the bat out of the hands of Comia, but when you've got somebody who can run like that, and look, that's a simple overthrow. Gabby lifts that one toward left field, trickling back. Into the glove it goes, so they cannot cash in. Comia gave it a ride. Unable to get it done. Flying around the bases. EGF All-American game. sorts of fun tonight. Amanda Freed, Darren Sutton, and you, thanks for being with us. Premier Girls Fast Pitch. PGF All-American game. All of these athletes coming to a campus near you. We talked about it. You put all these athletes together. I don't think we're stretching it, Freed, if we say that 10, there's a good chance that 10 will be playing next year. Maybe not key players, but all will be rostered and contributing next year at the Women's College World Series. Is that a stretch? I don't think it's a stretch at all. Yeah, it's really not. I mean, I'm just going to reel off a few names like Oklahoma Stand for Mississippi State, ASU, UCLA, Michigan, Texas Tech. Oh, Texas Tech. Yikes. They're going big or going home at this point. As that one has popped foul. Kind of like Coach Glasgow, though. It's hard to not love the man who left Louisiana and made that move to Texas Tech. I like him. I love him. Well, already making waves. Making waves. Go out there and say, I'm just going to take the National Pitcher of the Year. Thank you. That one is fouled off at home plate. These are interesting times, as like everything else. 
When you go back just a generation, how different women's softball looked. And then maybe one more generation back when it was just being really built as a college sport. Taylor Troutman takes that one outside, two and two the count. Tay going to Mississippi State. Our high school team winning a state championship this year, Henderson County High School. That is a rocket to right field. Troutman with a base hit. Joy Economy Days had us all rising out of our seats when we watched this Amanda sail out. Now the first and only home run that we've seen today in all of these big hitters crushes that. <laughs> Gets the West up on the board. And a beautiful curveball hits the outside corner. 0 and 1 the count to Joey Economides, that home run. The Stanford commit. Oh, that went off at home plate. Ouch. Dan McCavanaugh, I believe that's who's working back there. That's one of the tough assignments of the position. Joey somehow managed to make her smile. Uh, this is a good pitch just under the bat uh, right on top of that thigh. All right, ready to go back to work. Got the commitment on 0 2. Saved some of her best stuff for the most powerful hitter. That was a wicked two strike pitch. Yeah, set it up with that inside pitch and then just ran it away. A nice call. We talked about the pitchers and catchers calling their own game. It was a nice setup. Ashley Mejia with the changeup goes in the hole. Owen won the count. If that one dives low. Newer, certainly the goal. Just keep it right here. It's just a one run game. Put a zero up there and see if your team can maybe shock somebody and walk it off down one. Rolled out to third and everybody is safe. So, pops in and out of the glove there, but that was really, really well struck. I agree. She hit this ball oh hard. I thought that was a good job of knocking it down. That's Hubbard over there at third. Marty Hubbard, who stepped in. We had a, one of the players couldn't pitch in quite as many innings defensively. She said, I'll take third the rest of the game. And there she's out there working. Love that. Hey, you're playing a game like this, you'll take all the defensive innings you can get. But that was real. I mean, that was a real play she was going to have to make just knocking it down. Woo, she's saying. Malia Perez, another Stanford commit. She takes that one high. Perez fly to center field back in the second inning. Two and oh the count. Time is called. Troutman, send a runner out there. Kalen Jones says, I gotcha. You were wondering where that pitch was. Seen a lot of nicely located screwballs from all pitchers today. Perez takes outside, that's ball four. 
Alia was saying that this year, 2024, is where she's grown her mind the most. She said as she stands at first, I love to repeat the phrase, believe in yourself when nobody else does, for if not, then who? Just working on that self-confidence, getting out of slumps. There are slumps to come for all of these hitters at the college level, as great as they are now. How about a changeup in an aggressive time, strike one. Yeah, it's a great call on that pitch. Good arm motion as well. Fisher shoots that one foul up over our head. Addy opened up this game and was really strong working in the circle. Six up, six down with three strikeouts. This is her second at bat. The Oregonian going to UCLA, the national player of the year. She plays both ways at UCLA initially. I give her a chance. Yeah, right? you bet. Right back to the screen it goes, one and two the count. Yeah, I do appreciate that UCLA will allow pitchers to play both ways. You see him take some swings. It's something that has always kind of been a part of the program. Big pitch over the inside corner. Now this is a tough pitch. It's maybe a little off the plate, but 50-50 on that call. It's kind of been yes and no all night. A pitch definitely with two strikes. 0-1 oh, the count to Samaya Jones. I love what you said about UCLA and Coach I providing that opportunity. Keep you an all-around athlete as long as you can. Something to that. There is something to that. And look, when you've got a roster that, that it's that deep, UCLA recruits some hot hitters and some hitters to just be designated hitters. So you have to out, outperform the roster in order to remain in the lineup. But I love that the opportunity is there. Big chance for Newark to keep the bases full, get her team back in the dugout. And it's a high fly ball, very shallow center, back up short. And out into the glove of Taylor Pipkins. Final chance in this All-American game. Does the E-Squad have something up their sleeves? Let's find out. What a beautiful night to celebrate this sport as we roll into the final half inning. Maybe. The energy never leaves the youngsters. They can go all night. They're ready for that 2 a.m. <laughs> wiffle ball game or whatever that's going on. Hey, Peyton Burnham's back in the circle. She wants to lock this game down. Layla Lamar is her first foe. And Layla takes out the plate outside. Layla struck out early in this game. The Florida commit. Outside, 2-0 oh, the count. Three years of high school softball, and she played them all well. Three times first team all conference. 3 0 oh, the count to Layla. She's also in her church, Summit Church, a youth leader the past four years. Works with young people and infants, working in the ministry there, volunteering her time. And there is your tying run. That was easy. Just be patient. It'll come to you. Now the East is trying to make this interesting. Now batting. Number 22. Emma Kavanaugh. Emma Kavanaugh. Emma line hard to right field back in the second inning. She takes that one low. Packing up, getting ready to head to Tucson to go to school. Where she will now play in the pack. Oh, I'm sorry, Big 12. That's going to take some getting used to for sure. That's my home state. It definitely will. I know you out here, you USC, UCLA world, thinking about the Big 10. 
Arizonans thinking a lot about the, the Big 12 and getting used to that. Everybody, everybody talking about missing the pack, though. Yeah. yeah there's so much history. Gosh, and it's something we'll look back on and remember. And well, how about you? And I'm sorry to interrupt, but not only no. did you play as a legend in this conference, but then one of, for a long time, one of the great voices of your sport then on the network. I mean, that's a lot of, a lot of long ties to the pack. We'll miss it. Ah, I'm going to miss it so much. But our sport has evolved so much over the last couple of decades that it's silly of us to think that it's never going to change. That one is low, three and two the count. Selfishly, though, I don't think we would have ever been ready for it to end. But we move on. 3-2. Big strikeout. Split the play with that pitch, but maybe backed off just enough on the velo. Yeah, good adjustment to find the strike zone. A little curveball, wasn't it? A little, yeah, taking a little off, throwing it through the zone, not trying to be too perfect. All right, now Ramsey Walker. 0-1 the count, goes back the other way with the screwball that punches that inside corner. In, up, 0-2. Will she go back soft and away? Now she's dialed in. The Arkansas commit. Looking to lock this game down. Inside corner, that's strike three. Three pitches. Now there are two outs. And after starting this inning with five consecutive balls, comes right back, finds the zone. Just freezes Walker. Zoe Calvez. With elite speed, you had better make an accurate play if you catch a ball on the ground. Vernon, by the way, played her travel softball as she works in the circle for the Arizona Storm, Corey Mathis. <laughs> oh, and to the count on Zoe. Runner's going to try to grab an extra bag. Why not? Well, talk about a gutsy chance. That is super gutsy. You've got to know that you're going to make it. And look at Burnham's out of the circle. Lamar sees it. Nobody's covering second. And I like the heads up base running. One and two, the count. That just means a single ties this game. That's why you take that chance. Look at the safe cracker out there. Ice water in your veins. One and two. <laughs> and we do it again. One ball and two strikes. says in 10 years I'll either be on my way to my dream job hopefully having participated in the Olympics and maybe winning a national championship as well just going to LSU that'll do it curveball and a dandy puts this game to bed and the West team is the best team tonight what a wonderful addition. Yet another year. This is the 2024 Premier Girls Fast Pitch High School All-American game. You can put it in the history books. Yeah, this was a fun one. A sold-out crowd here in this evening's ball game to watch these athletes compete. Athletes that we'll no doubt see on the highest stage as they head off to college next year. And it's been fun. It's been a really long, hard-fought week full of the best softball in the country. And this game, it was a good one. It was a great way to end it. There will be some tears after this one. A lot of these players that already said goodbye to their travel teams as they wrapped up their weeks. They were treated like the best of the best, which this event does all week long. Out in the Balboa Harbor on the ocean down by Newport earlier this week, then rejoining their team. 
a bunch of great gear and memories to take. I think bigger than the gear is the memories. Oh, 100%. I think looking back, we've talked to so many athletes that have come through here, have gone beyond their careers and still look back on nights like this. This night as being one of their most favorite memories of the game. A real celebration of our sport. The MVP award was just handed out to Joey Economides. You knocked one out of here, kid. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Hey, hey, tell me what it's like. Stanford next for you. But before yeah. you head off, what does a day like this, what does a week like this mean to you as an athlete to put a bow on your high school time? You know, it's a great accomplishment. And um, I put in the work, and I've been I've been sorry. Yeah, you're been, good. You're good. I put in all the work and it's finally paying off. And I've dreamed of this ever since I was a little girl, like playing for Rob Weil, as you guys know. And, um, you know, it really seals the deal. And I'm so excited to continue this at Stanford. What are you most looking forward to as you close this chapter? You look forward to continuing on with Stanford. What yeah. excites you the most about that next part of your journey? You know, I'm really excited to work with Coach Alistair. They're building a great program. And um, I'm very excited to be a part of it and even try to get a national championship with them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, we, we got to talk about the homer. I mean, <laughs> this wasn't a wall scraper. But this almost went over the back wall. Yeah. Walk us through the homer, kid. So, I mean, coming in, we knew Audrey Lowry's a great pitcher, Oklahoma commit. So um, her best pitch was waiting on it, sat on it, and um, I just happened to hit the ball. I mean, no thoughts behind that. Swung the bat. Yeah, that, that's stension. That's not even extension. That's oh, just no. pure stension you put yeah. on that. Hey, 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 look, it's hard to hit a ball that's up above the belt. Turn on it and pull it out of here. Weight room bed good to you? Oh, yeah, those Stanford workouts are definitely putting in the work for me. Yeah, I saw it. I saw that, by the way, on the field. Hey, congrats. Thank you so much. And all you did to you and your teammates, and, and good luck at Stanford. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, what a classy athlete. Joey Economides is down there. There's that trophy in the MVP. Freed, what'd you think? Oh, that was fun. I'm excited to watch Joey as she continues on in her career. That was a monster home run. I'm glad we got one. We've been talking about him, and we've seen some deep ones, some almost, but not quite, but not Joey. That one was long gone, no doubter. And this game was fun. What a wonderful day of softball. We handed out national championships at the 16U and the 18U age group. And then we watched the Futures All-American teams gather. But the bottom line is these athletes, as we said, about 10 of them will be in the Women's College World Series. If you love this sport at the college level, ready or not, here they come. This is one of the best events when you speak about it. Premier Girls Fast Pitch, our production leader, John Walsh, a production team incredible, PGF, great to work with. She's Amanda Freed. My name is Darren Sutton. Good night from Southern California.